Hey YouTubers, this is the Fishing Educator uh, coming to you with another real quick video on walleye rigs. Uh, these are the top 10 walleye rigs that I use that I like. Uh, if you're out fishing southeast, midwest, northeast, northwest, uh, anywhere in the country, uh, these are going to work. Uh, there's a lot of different walleye baits that are out there, but these are the most consistent ones uh, that I have found. Uh, remember when you're fishing for walleye, keep it slow. There are different times of the year when different things will work and different things won't work. Uh, you know me, I'm about keeping things simple, uh, keeping them inexpensive, and you can catch fish. And so uh, I'm going to start with winter. Uh, just a couple of things that you can try during the winter time. Uh, three real key baits. Uh, one is, you know, December, January, and that water is really cold. Uh, a blade bait works really well. You can buy these in a lot of different shapes, sizes, flavors, colors, whatever. Uh, but this one actually has produced for me a lot. Uh, you'll find places that you can use the blade bait. Uh, so that's one for the winter time. The other one is the old standby. And I use this in February, uh, pre-spawn. And it is the fuzzy grub. Uh, fuzzy grub tipped with a minnow. Uh, I've got just a Berkeley minnow on there right now. I will usually go out and buy some toughies or buy some minnows and will actually use the fuzzy grub. Uh, I like it because it's got a soft body but also has some hair and the walleye, you bounce this off the bottom, they can't stand it. Uh, walleye sauger as well. The other one that's kind of picked up uh, a lot in the past few years is this by Rapala and it is a, um, a little jig that they make, a uh, ripping jig and it's, it's been used for ice fishing in the past um, and people have found that in open water this actually works well. So uh, you can give those a try as well. They come in a lot of different uh, sizes and shapes. I'll put a link in down at the bottom. Uh, and then of course you have probably your most popular is this guy right here. And this is the um, crawler harness. Uh, it's a walleye crawler harness. These come in all different safe shapes and sizes. Very effective uh, most of the year. Uh, definitely spring, summer, and into fall, trolling these along. You'll notice that they be, uh, be tipped with a night crawler. Uh, I've got a artificial night crawler on there right now, but these certainly probably one of the most popular ones for fishermen. You tie those onto planer boards, whatever the case may be. Walleye, can't stand them. They uh, will hit those, definitely. Uh, another one is the Rapala Original 13, uh, just the floater. I will troll this uh, usually on some leaded line and get this down and this will do very well. They've, they've been making these for a long time, Rapala, and they keep making them and there's a reason why they keep making them. Uh, balsa wood, well made, and they just simply catch fish. So uh, definitely have a few of those in your tackle box. Then I also like the uh, Shad Wrap from uh, Rapala as well, Rapala, Rapala, um, both names work for me for different so anyway I won't get into that today uh, but again the shad wrap is also another good lure to have kind of related to that definitely in the spring summer and fall that shad wrap uh, definitely does a great job and then of course uh, I also like the flicker shad from Berkeley uh, another great lure very popular amongst fishermen's fishermen probably they like this probably the most um, that I read of a lot uh, my favorite is the Wally Diver. Uh, Wally Diver has pr proved consistency for me over the years, and so I do like the Wally Diver, an another option you can look at. The Wiggle Wart uh, is another one put out by Storm. Uh, this puts out a lot of vibration, a lot of rattle, and that's a key with a lot of these two is there's rattling going on. So again, another popular lure there is the Wiggle Wart. This one is called the Reef Runner. Uh, it's another good one, works in the fall, uh, real deep diving. Uh, great baits to give a try. Again, they come in different colors and sizes. You'll see the banana shape gives off a unique vibration in the water. When you troll these really slow, the key is slow trolling. Uh, Walleye love that slow roll and will attack. Remember, they're not that aggressive a fish, so always keep that in mind. You definitely want to slow your troll down. There's just another um, jig that I do use in the wintertime. And again, it's just got a little hair in it. Always tip that with a jig, and you'll find that you get more hookups that way. And then, of course, the old standbys are my spoons. Uh, I'm a big spoon fan. Use these in spring, um, summer, 
You can use them really any time of the year. You should always have some spoons on. This is an actual Stingray spoon. You see the different sizes. You can get different sizes, different shapes. Um, again, uh, you know, you just have to try and see what works with your water. Clear water is going to act uh, a little differently than stained water, so you definitely want to look at that. But these are just a couple of spoons. Uh, Natahala Nailers uh, through the Nat Natahala Tackle Company uh, is what I recommend. Uh, Scott Lilly does a great job. The nice thing about Scott, too, is he will custom any color that you want. So if you want particular colors, you can contact him. I'll put a link uh, down at the bottom of the screen right here. So if you want to check out him on Facebook, you can do that. And then, of course, uh, Stingrays, Magnum Spoons that you get from Michigan Stinger Company are other good ones as well. You'll see the single hook versus treble hook. Uh, personally, over the past year, I really like the single hook. I feel like I get better hookups. Um, again, you just have to play with your speed on all these two. So, uh, again, those are my top ten uh, walleye lures. Uh, give those a try. If you're looking for lures to buy, start with that. Keep it simple. Keep it basic. And as always, have fun fishing. Take kids out there. The goal is to catch fish. So, uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video and want to see more like this. And everyone have a great day and good fishing.